Good evening, I'm here to show you how to make an electrified door handle from these two components. On my desk I have, I say desk, tumble dryer, I have a soldering iron sold, roll of, and a roll of solder, one vehicle door handle, a thin piece of brass rod, probably about two millimetres thick, a tennis racket fly zapper, a pair of pliers, a pair of wire cutters, a couple of screwdrivers and a solder sucker and two rolls of cable. Right, now I'm gonna show you how to electrify your door handle. You take your electronic zapper, take screws out, battery cover off. Now for safety reasons, take the batteries out, because you will get a wallet. Right. Two screws. Two at the battery end on this side, and then one on that side, which I've already taken out. Right, so lid off. Now you're then left with a circuit board, a power in, uh, a positive, a negative, and outputs. Now there was three outputs, but I've previously dismantled this, so there's the third yellow wire. You don't want that. Throw it away. And also, you cut these two wires, which I've previously done. Do it again, why not? Snip this bit, throw it in the bin. Don't want that. Right, so you've now got your handle with your controller, your PCB. On this PCB, you have your two output wires, which was three, but we've just cut one off. You have your positive in and your negative in. You have this yellow, this red bit here, that is the power on switch. So when you press that, these two wires go live, hence the tennis racket naps that. Now you also have a little red LED. When you press this button, this LED lights, which means this is live. So you now take all of this out, just like that, pull it out, and put the case over there. You don't need that for a minute. Right, so you have your PCB, screws, and battery cover. Then take your door handle off your vehicle. This is this one is uh, specifically to a Renault, as you probably know. Dig off the inside layer, pull the inside from the outside. That's the outside, that's the inside. Place the outside over. Oh, don't burn yourself on the side of Now, this is your inner. You then take your copper rod, just like this. Get your pliers, you clamp the end, just like the thickness of the pliers is enough, bend it to 90 degrees, like that. Now, I've already pre-drilled these two holes in this handle because I've made one before. But you work out the length, you poke one end in, and then you go, right, I need to bend that piece of wire just there. And then take it out, and you bend it so that it's parallel that way with the first bend you just made. So you have that, and you cut it off, about 10, 12 mil, snip, right, that's gone, right. Now you need to make two of those. You need to take the inside of your handle, you push the brass rod through that hole, and you push it through that hole. See? Now, because there's a gap there, and this is a curved handle, I take this out, and I bend it to more than the curve of the door handle. Then you poke it back in, Hold that end and poke that end in. See now there's no gap when they're pushed in. Right, so you push them in, then you get a screwdriver, and you just fold them ends over, just like that. I should get a bigger screwdriver really, but yeah, so that's folded over. So is that one. Right, so it can't fall out. So you now have one wire. Here's some I made earlier. Good old blue Peter. Push that in there. And that in there. Let's bring that one around. That's good. <laughs> Riley, what are you doing? Right. So you now have two in there. Make sure they're nice and tight in there. 
push them right down with your pliers, get them so they're proper flush. Then bend over the inside of that one as well. Fold them nice and tight like that. I'll do the same with this one now they're in. Nice and tight. Not like that. Right, so that's the inside of your handle. Yeah? And that's the other side. Now, what you need to do, get two pieces of wire. Just say that long for instance. Roughly about the same. Depends, it depends like really how long your handle is. Right. Strip these two wires back. Bosh. Bosh. Twist them together, makes for a good solid strand of wire. Now, move to here, keep your soldier iron. That's dried out. Right, hang on. And then you put your wire on the soldering iron and you tin the wires. Just like that. So those two wires are now tinned. Now you need to tin. Right, now the cable, you need to decide which end your cable is going through. I prefer this end because this hole here is nice and open. So I'm going to connect my wires to these two ends. I'll take my soldering iron and I'll warm up the ends of the brass rods and try and tin them with the soldering iron. You want to get let the solder to actually stick to the, the brass rod. Yeah, I think that will that will get it. And the same with this one. Warm it up. Have a solder. Right. So I can now attach wires to that. Right. Then you get your two wires that you just tinned, black and red. Soldering on again. You attach one wire to one brass rod. They're soldered, they ain't coming off. And then your other wire, your red, to the other terminal, to the other brass wire. Blow it quite quickly, because it's a plastic handle, you don't want it melting. Right, so you now have your inner handle with your two brass rods and your two wires attached. Now, you poke those through the hole, which will be your access hole into the body of your door. Then you get the other end, you strip the wires off. These wires can be however long or short you need them to be, basically. So you could put the PCB somewhere else in the door. Right, positive and negative, we tin those wires. Soldier knows a bit dirty, but. Right, so you tin those two wires. Shake off the excess, right. Then you cut them to a nice size, about three or four mil. Just like that, about three mil. You don't want a massive amount of overhang. Then you take the circuit board, which we took out of the tennis racket handle, and turn it over. Now, the output of this tennis racket is two yellows and one red. Obviously I've cut one yellow off earlier. Now, take your soldering iron, you warm these up and just pull it off. Bye. Warm it up. Just flick it off. Right. So that was the yellow wire, which I take as negative because the red is always red. Right. You then solder. You replace the yellow wire with this black wire. Blow it quickly because you don't want to burn the components out. Right, same again with the red. Warm it up. As soon as it's molten, that's it. Right, gone. Right. Just freshen them terminals up. Nice fresh blob of solder on there, you see. Right, and that red goes to this red. Sometimes it's extra. It's good to have like a. a um, Called a helping hand, it's like a magnet with two crocodile clips on it. 
Right, so you now have your positive and negative outputs soldered to your internal door handle. You then take the handle assembly from the tennis racket, as previously mentioned, which you took it from. That one, this one. Take it apart. It's easier to do it with the battery side because there's less things to hold stuff in there. Right, now, if I put this back together, you will see that that goes that way, sorry. LED's bent. I'm just trying to oh, snap the LED. Oh well. Right. So you put it back. Right, don't bother putting it back together. Oh. Right, so you've then got your plus and minus, which is two AA batteries, which is three volts. So once put back together, you give that three volts, you press that button, and that is then live while that button is pressed. But we're not going to do that, because that's we don't need that. So we take our solder nine and a solder sucker. You heat up the terminals on the switch. And then you press the button, suck out the solder. Because we want to take this switch right out. Right, that's one done. Yeah. Okay. I know it's hard to see, sorry, I'm putting my hand in the way. So you warm up the solder. Warm up the solder, press the button. Right. Basically, we're trying to remove that switch. So I've unsoldered it. In theory, it should just pop out with a screwdriver, but they never do. Oh, yes, it does. Right. So that switch is now gone. You don't need that bit. Now, you take two more bits of wire of whatever length you require. This is for your key switch which will turn on your electric door handle. You strip back the wires as we did before. This one's on the play. Right, so you have two wires, twist them together. You then get your solder, you tin those two wires. Like that, so the cable is nicely covered with solder floating in that little ball of solder with a little blob on the end. Right, that's gone. Right, so we now have a positive and a negative. Now, I won't solder these onto here right now because I'll show you with this how that becomes live. I'll put it back in its original casing just for testing purposes. Ah, oh, there's no switch. Right, two seconds. Right, we will solder these on. Right, that's the positive. The red goes on the positive. And the one behind it is the negative. Solder that on. All right, put your solder on to one safe place so you don't burn yourself. Now, so we've taken out the switch which was between that terminal and that terminal. Now, we have a positive and a negative. So, we get a cheap key switch, like this, from eBay. About two pounds, cheap as chips. Put the key over there, because you don't need it. All right, you then get the other end of these two wires that we've just soldered onto the board, and you strip those back. I've got proper wire strippers, but I can't remember to go and find them. Twist them together. Well, not together, but twist them up. Then you get your soldering iron again. And tin these two wires. Nicely tinned. Helps with the soldering process. Right. Now, two switch, two wires. Is that a good picture? Yeah. 
Alright, go over to your soldering iron, you heat up one of the pins, you push in a wire. You bloke told. Admittedly that wire's a little bit long, but for demonstration purposes. Same with the second one, you warm it up, you push in a wire, call it. As you can see, we now have two attack. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> right, let's have a clean dab of solder on that. <laughs> right, push it in. Cool it down. Right, so that's now soldered. Right, so we have one key switch going down, down to replacement of the push button switch, two power wires, two output wires soldered to the two brass rods in your door handle. Right, give me one moment while I shall, I shall reassemble this until it's chasing, not that it needs to be, but. Those two are the key switch, let me just put those over there. Those two are output. Just tuck them in the case in for now. Trying to hold it all together a bit or not, they're right. You then get your positive, which is the flat one. That goes in there, that side. So that goes in there. And the one with a spring on it is the negative. It goes back in there. Right. Can't see it. Now obviously I've taken the switch out, so we only need to relocate the LED. Let's get that one. Get the LED in place, but all right. So, you have two wires there for your key switch, two wires two there for your power output. All right, let's see what we've got cover on. Right. You get your screws, just gently screw it back together because this is just a demonstration. So you have your key switch, your battery compartment, and your door handle. <coughs> Remove the battery cover. <coughs> reinstate your batteries. <coughs> Shut up. <laughs> right, battery back on. Cover on. Now, at this point, I can't see the LED light, so I don't know whether this is on or off. If I demonstrate with a screwdriver, if I touch these together and it sparks, no, that's off. Right, okay. So you get your key. It's only a cheap little thing off eBay. Don't touch that. Right, technically, that is now live. I can just about see the LED in that hole because it's up in the line. Right, now, so your key switch is on. If you touch this, you're going to get a wallop. That's got to hurt. Now, I would touch it for demonstration purposes, but I had a whack off it last night, so I'm not. Right, so to turn it off, key switch, off. You get one crack after it's turned off, and then it's dead. So remember, you need to wait for it to discharge before you enter your van. I hope that has been an informative video, and... Uh, Thank you very much and stay safe with your tools. Good night.